Hello everyone, uh, good morning. Let's solve the problem C from the weekly contest 384 maximum palindromes after operations. You can see the acceptance rate, acceptance rate is 30.9% which is pretty low compared to various other problems and this problem is a really good one where you will learn the logic building and you will learn how to handle the edge scenarios. Now, without wasting any further time, let us understand the problem. So, I will try my best to explain you this problem in the best possible way. So, please watch the video till the end. Now, you are given a zero indexed string array words having length n containing zero indexed strings. Okay. You are allowed to perform the following operations any number of times. You have to perform operation any number of times and is saying that choose the integer i j x y such that my i is an index ranging from 0 to n, you can choose the any index and x is something which is my word length and j length, x is something which in that word, in that word I can take any characters, in any, in any range from 0 to n I can take any two characters and swap the characters and the swap the characters, return an integer denoting the maximum number of palindrome words can contain after performing some operations to return the maximum number of palindrome words you can form after performing this operation. Now, if you see he had he had made clear that you can swap any characters he is saying that if you are having a b c d e f g you can swap any characters from a b c to d e f g and he is given that flexibility to swap, but he does not he did not give the flexibility to insert or delete this length should be fixed this a b c and d e f g the length should be fixed, but I can swap the characters. So, main important thing is he has given flexibility to swap the things, but not a flexibility to insert or remove. If he had given that flexibility, this problem is an easy problem I can say, very easy problem if he has given that flexible, think about that, think about if he has given insertion and deletions can happen and I can do anything whatever I want, how many paradigms you can form, you can comment it down you can comment it down your approach. Now, let us see, let us see this question. Now, you are given this A B B B A. In this example, one way to swap the maximum number of palindrome C is, is swapping this B with this A, is swapping with B this A. So, we have formed 4 B's A A A A A. So, here you are getting 3. Now, A B C A B. Now, here he had now A B C and we have a b first thing we can swap i will make i will make sure a will come here my b c uh, if a is coming here then it will be a a and b b c i can take anything it is he told that i j and it can be in the same characters as well in the same string also i can make changes he did not say that i should not be equals to j now b b c here i can take this B C and I can swap B C B B C B and A A you can form or else has given some other example A C A B B anything you can form. So, here you can form two words. Now, if you observe here to get a palindrome to get a palindrome we have even length palindrome and we have odd length palindrome. In even length palindrome my first digit and last digit this should be same and last second this should be same in this way this should be same and it should be an even even so even means we need to consider pairs okay i will try to think about pairs if it is odd if it is odd let's say this is my x and this is my x this is my y and this is my y and we have odd which is situated here which is z so here we can form these pairs we can form these pairs and i will say okay one is my odd so okay odd here also I can make pairs, I can make pairs and I will make satisfy this odd. Okay. After saying this, so let us see can we do anything regarding the pairing part, you can think about that. So, how many pairs you can form, okay. let us let us see we has that flexibility that any any element can be swapped, any element can be swapped, but there is no flexibility to decrease or increase the size of the word, size of the word. Okay. So, first thing first I will calculate the all pairs, first thing first I will calculate the all pairs, total number of pairs. So, after calculating the pairs and I will calculate the odd length as well, odd length, odd length then I will iterate, then I will iterate to the 
every word then i will iterate to the every word then i will check in every word if it is my even if it is my even length word even length word so directly i will decrease pairs is equals to pairs minus even length to pairs minus even length divided by 2 if i do that i am decreasing my pairs and if it is an odd if it is an odd then this odd frequency will get decreased odd frequency will get decreased okay if my odds are done but still there is an odd left still there is an odd left so can we use even yes can we use even yes from pairs i will decrease one pair and i will use if it is like a a a a here we have two pairs one pair will be decreased this a a will get closed we have a a so one a will be used for odd and another one a will be used by that string which i am calculating and this another a will be added to the odd frequency odd frequency okay uh, these are the things i think you have got how to approach this problem let's see the coding part for better understanding and how exactly we thought so this is the pairs we thought in the beginning then we have came down and we have bracketed it down now let's see first we are inserting all the sizes because my size i can't change the size so all the sizes are fixed so we are inserting all the sizes into t then then we are calculating the each frequency from a to z from a to z i will calculating the frequency of every character after calculating that sz is my size and these are my pairs pair is equals to pairs plus sz and if it is an odd so i am using an odd frequency and in incrementing the odd values odd values okay we got that we got that now if you see this if you are saying this string we a has occurred thrice g occurred once b occurred once h once and c once right now if you see here so i will try to you can form the small array very quickly right you can form the small array very quickly and if your large array is failing then it will fail but my small array i will try to build from the small to big now if you see this example a a g h a now we have pairs now we have pair as number of pairs are one because a a is the only pair and all others are odd frequencies now if you see here this is my length this is my length 5 this is my length 5 and if you see here 5 minus 2 5 minus 2 3 so we required three more 5 is odd so i will use one character for the odd frequency so it will become 4 then 4 minus 2 4 minus 2 2 we still left with the two uh, two two characters two character and two characters can't be formed two characters can't be formed so my pairs are decreased and now if you see here bc here i can form the pair here i can form the pair with bc now if you see the code if you see the code we are sorting t dot begin t dot end then we are going with i is equals to 0 answer equals to 0 if if my t of i percentile 2 is odd if it is an odd and if my odd is less than 0 from pairs from pairs i will subtract one pair pair and i will increase my odd frequency because we are using odd value a a a a we are deleting it and we are using this for forming and my word palindrome this we are using for odd then t of i is equals to t of i minus 1 and if my odds are their odd is decreasing and it is minus 1 and if my t of i equals to 0 if it is equals to 0 and we are incrementing the answer and we are incrementing the i value and we are saying continue that means we are we are calculated the length with size 1 now if t of i percentile 2 is equals to 0 pairs is equals to pairs of minus t of i by 2 if my pairs is greater than or equals to 0 that means i this i got the answer and we are returning the answer we are returning the answer now if you see here the time complexity will be total number of values in the maps can be 26 so it will be order of n into 26 so we can take it as order of n and we are using extra space as order of n and i think you understood the logic so if you have any doubts you can comment it down uh, 
I think I have explained you in a best possible way. So if you are new to the channel, please do subscribe and please do like. And I have created a WhatsApp community where we will discuss the various problems. So you can join that. So I will see you in the next video. Till then, bye bye.